So welcome, no thank you for joining me today. Now that sports are starting to return, how do we engage fans when we can't be in the venue physically? Yes, well, thank you for having me and, and great to be here. I think it's, it's really been a challenging time with the COVID lockdowns. Obviously, sports were gone for a while. Sports in various leagues and various parts of the world are coming back, but fans are not coming back. You know, uh, because for obvious reasons, you can't have super crowded stadiums. So this has posed a new challenge for the entire industry, which is that how do we sort of create the virtual fans? How do we bring the fans back into the arena or at least the fan atmosphere? Because in the past, there were people physically attending the events and they would cheer or they would sort of be, be part of the event. And then there were people watching it on TV or live streaming. And, and those people watching it were typical ghosts. Whether they were there or whether they were not there wouldn't make any difference. And now we have, I think, a new challenge, but also a new opportunity to really make the sort of remote fans or the virtual fans be part of the, of the effort and in some sense create a different emotion around participating in a live event. So is there... Um a way that you can bring the fan back to the athlete um, in the venue? Yeah, there is, if you look at, I mean, various leagues and various uh, uh, sports teams have tried different uh, efforts, you know, whether they use video conferencing systems or they use uh, artificial noise, or some people even have put like, you know, pictures or uh, mannequins inside arenas to make them not look empty. and. And I applaud all that because like it's all sort of steps in the right directions. But I think the, the real value that, that, that we see as a company is really around the technology that makes everybody, and I think it's very important, makes everybody who watches it also feel like they are part of it. Just let's say when you go to a game and you're in the stands and you're screaming and you're cheering and then you feel you are part of it. Because even though you might have been only a tiny, tiny fraction of it, you have been part of it. And I think it's important that we make everybody, not just a few people who are on a video call, you know, we make everybody feel like they are a small part of the event. So we were, we were all kind of thrust into this virtual experience. What are some of the things you've learned from implementing various uh, techniques for virtual fan experience? Yeah, so there's a couple of things we as a company have, have done. I mean, and, and we sort of like to, to categorize them all under sort of an umbrella we call reverse streaming in a way. Is that if you look at, you know, whether it's TV production or streaming for the last so many years, it's always been about how do I bring the event to the, to the home user, whether it's on TV, whether it's on laptop, mobile, and so on. And it's all sort of a one-way direction. What we sort of realize now, and it's part of a little bit of what we do as a company, that streaming is really a two-way, I think. Just like going to an event, it's a two-way, it's an interactive engagement. And so what we have seen is that this really opens a very rich area for interactive two-way streaming. And in some sense, now the challenge becomes very different. It's not about bringing a game, you know, that it may involve, you know, 20 players on a field to like, say, a million people watching it at home, which is what we did in the past. Now is how do we bring a million people back into the arena and, and create a virtual presence that the 20 people on the field can actually feel and can actually see? Um, and that's, in my mind, what reverse streaming is all about. So it's a very different challenge. It's a very different way of producing content and managing content. We have done a couple of, of, of efforts like this, mostly in music, actually. We sort of pioneered the, the virtual music concert space because you can imagine there's a lot of similarities between live music and live TV, or live sports, sorry. And the music industry obviously had to cancel. Many bands had to cancel their world tours and, and so on. We actually paired up and uh, teamed up with a popular uh, Korean K-pop band called BTS, and we did a large virtual concert with them where the band literally performed sort of on a soundstage without any fans. But we actually managed to create an interaction, a two-way interaction between the fans and the band. But it's been a lot of fun doing this, and we were very happy that we made it into the Guinness Book of World Records for the largest live paid music events and so it's been a good it's been a good uh, project so far oh wow I didn't know it had gotten that big that's that's really cool and um 
it kind of sets the stage for um, asking what the future of reverse streaming looks like. So what we are working on and, and have a pretty good uh, uh, solution for is how do we enable fan engagement without necessarily having to redo the, the, the distribution or to do the rights agreements? And how do you sort of look at the fan engagement as something that could complement and even improve the, the, uh, the, 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 the traditional distribution of a game? Because it's not fun for anybody to watch a game with no fans. It's not fun for the players. It's not fun for the people at home. So the more we like to say you can connect reverse streaming to forward streaming and sort of make it into a loop that the virtual fans become part of the production, become part of the engagement, go just like the kiss cam goes on the jumbotron in a traditional setting. What is the, the right virtual equivalent of that? I think that's what the future is about. And there's companies like us and many others that are working on it. But I think it's going to be an exciting future, even as, you know, the lockdown will get eased and fans will return. I think it will be a different world. Ah, well, that's all I have for you today. Thank you so much for joining Good. me. And it was great to hear well, your insights on. It's a, lot, it's a lot of fun to be, to be part of this. And uh, thank you for having me.